Okay, so this is a uh, shootout between the Canon EOS 70D and the uh, Canon HFM 500 uh, camcorder. And what I'm essentially doing here is the, I uh, got the 70D hoping that I would be able to record much higher quality, much better dynamic range, just better overall 1080 video. What this has turned out to be is a bit of a disappointment, if you will. Um, I was expecting much better video quality from the EOS 70D versus the HFM 500. Now, granted, the setup on the HFM 500 is as best as it's going to get uh, in terms of video quality. So right now, the way the HFM 500 is set up is I have uh, daylight full spectrum light bulbs, 5500K. I've manually white balanced uh, the HFM 500 with this Weibull card. It's a, uh, a white balance reference card. It's extremely good at balancing uh, uh, cameras. So both cameras are as white balanced as I can get it. I've also auto set the exposure using this exposure card on the HFM 500. And I should have similar exposure on the EOS 70D as well using this exposure card. Um, both of them are sitting right next to each other shooting me at the same time. I have the same audio uh, going into them from my uh, Mackie 802 VLZ3 uh, mixer. So they both should have exactly the same audio. And in fact, I I've already listened to the audio between the two of them. It's almost indistinguishable indistinguishable between the two in terms of audio performance. So that's good. So now let's just focus on the video performance. The HFM 500 has a built-in 10x zoom lens. Um, it's 61 millimeter to 6.1 millimeter to 61 millimeter at f1.8. Right now I have it zoomed all the way out at 6.1 millimeters with the f1.8 aperture. As you can see, the background behind me here is somewhat blurred uh, on the HFM 500. It should be quite a bit more blurred on the EOS 70D. Uh, where the HFM 500 really shines is I'm not actually recording AVC HD with the HFM 500. I have an HDMI out going to a Blackmagic Design HyperDeck Shuttle 2. So I'm getting 8-bit, uncompressed 8-bit 422 video off of the 1 3rd inch sensor that's a native 1080 sensor, a third of an inch of the HFM 500. I've been really happy with the video quality of the HFM 500 with that. So uh, I'm curious to see what that's gonna actually look like uh, in terms of image quality between that and the EOS 70D. Now the EOS 70D is set up where I, it's an APS-C sensor, so it's about the same as a Super 35 sensor. It's, uh, I right now I have on it a prime lens, a Canon EF 28 millimeter F 1.8. I'm currently running ISO 100, uh, F 3.5, and a uh, 160th of a second frame rate. It's recording 1080 at um, all eye compression to uh, a uh, class 10 uh, SD card. And again, same audio going in. Both cameras should be ha getting the same audio. I'm, I'm kind of trying to do a shootout between the two of them. The, I really wish the Canon had a clean HDMI out, but I expect that at first blush, I already did a recording of the EOS 70D um, a couple of days ago. Haven't put it up on YouTube or anything, but at first blush, it looked comparable to what I was getting off the HFM 500. So I'm going to cut between the two um, cameras as I'm talking here to see if there's any real perceptible difference between the two of them in terms of uh, noise in the darkened areas here. Those of you who may or may not be aware of this, I do in fact have a light meter. I do know how much light is in this room from what's hitting my face to uh, some of the uh, darker areas. And I, I understand that the uh, uh, autofocus is probably going to go nuts here, but uh, as soon as I look away, because it's on face detection right now. But uh, the darker areas right around yeah, up in here, 
where the right above where the penguin is in terms of incident light. So the incident light hitting my face right now uh, is approximately 1800 lux, 1900 lux. The incident light uh, way back there, way back there where the where the penguin is, is about 40 lux. So between the whole scene, I've got over six stops of dynamic range. Um, so I'm curious to see what I'm gonna what I'm gonna get up in the shadow areas. How much resolution I'm gonna get? How much noise there is in there? Um, now, granted, you know, an, an EOS 70D. If you're doing a filmmaker in a controlled studio environment, I would say probably you don't need to spend the money on an EOS 70D. Get a high quality Canon camcorder, the GH2 or GH3. Uh, would be really great, uh, or GX, whatever, they, their prosumer level where you can actually get manual control. Um, the third inch sensor, that's a native true HD, native third inch uh, sensor from Canon, extremely good quality. Definitely look into a camcorder with that as long as you've got a line level in and you can manually control everything, definitely worth it. I do find it interesting or at least useful to have more control and be able to swap lenses out with the EOS 70D if I'm doing filmmaking. Here, again, in the controlled environment in the studio, maybe not so much. Um, I, I'll probably just stick with the 28 millimeter lens. That's the widest picture I have if I don't do my 18 to 55 zoom. Um, but, uh, you know, that's really where it's at. You know, I have a, a 40 millimeter prime lens and a 50 millimeter prime lens. I could also go with two if I wanted some longer shots. But again, here in the studio for doing the shows, this is really where it's at in terms of picture quality, particularly once you get up onto YouTube. So I'm not gonna tell you what clips are, are uh, the uh, EOS 70D and what clips are the HFM 500 um, in the video. I just, this is really just a test uh, for my own sanity's sake to, to see if I can tell the difference when I'm looking at it. Um, so this will be more of a critical thing for me, but for those of you who, who uh, are watching this on YouTube, you know, this will be interesting for you to uh, see as well. Uh, just so you'll know, if there's a huge difference in picture quality between the two of them, you'll, you know, obviously, uh, you know, if, if you really got to know, then I'll tell you, but, um, you know, the, the cameras should be at least, like I said, at my first blush, the cameras should be roughly comparable, um, should be pretty interesting to see. So anyway, that's it. And, uh, we'll see, uh, how this turns out.